YouTube, how in the fuck are you guys doing today? Well, today and uh, you know the rest of this video, uh, I'm gonna show you guys Project or Operation Red Bud. Red Bud, okay? So uh, me and Zach have challenged ourselves to race the Red Bud National, okay? The ATV MX National. Um, we got to go four laps, four laps, two motos, so it's eight laps and two motos, and you know me, I had to buy something special, so I'll show you what we kind of got going on here, and uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to put on Behringer brakes, um, especially for like Suzuki stuff, um, it's a little bit different what you have to do and things like that, but just kind of go over this thing and uh, kind of tell you what I bought. So what we have here is, it's basically based off of a KTM and a Suzuki. So what this is, is, is it uses Suzuki front geometry, okay? And it uses some type of modified rear Suzuki geometry. We haven't got to that yet. Okay, the rear hasn't came in. But what it has is, you know, Suzuki spindles, the location, all that type of stuff. But it holds plastic like a KTM, all righty? So if you get what I'm saying, it's kind of like that. So, you know, how the steering mounts is KTM. Um, but a lot of the other stuff is Suzuki. So I'm going to show you what we got going on. We have a KTM engine in here, okay? And it's been, it's not been ported or anything, but I think it's had a little work done to it. But um, it uses a KTM radiator, you know, all that type of stuff. This is KTM dirt bike. It uses Suzuki rear, uh, Suzuki like spindles and fucking rear end shit. This is like LSR, Suzuki hubs and all that bullshit. Um, it's got Behringer's on it. That's one of the reasons I bought it. But this is the fuel tank. So what happens is, is the regular KTM fuel tank, it's got so many curves, you can't put a fuel pump in it. It would be impossible. So what this guy did is, um, this guy named David, I can't really pronounce his name, his last name. He's from Austria. He built this. Okay, I believe he owns a fab shop or whatever. He is an ATV racer in Europe. This was his personal race bike. And uh, since of COVID, they canceled the season this year. So he decided to sell this one and build another one. But um, as you can tell, uh, this is his company. It's called FM Fab. So he fabs all this together. Um, really nice job. This is titanium A-arms, so they weigh absolutely nothing. Like, this is all titanium stuff. It has a titanium steering stem. We haven't got it. Um, we've been slowly shipping this thing over from Austria. So today, I'm going to show you just a little bit of Behringer stuff, like how we get all this mounted on and all that type of stuff. You know, we are running a KTM engine. Um, you know, we're going to run it kind of like this. It does have... Uh, lips or whatever exhaust full titanium exhaust and like this dude is really smart man he notched all the frames out real nice he notched the frame out up here so you can get the valve cover out i mean just just thinking you know what i'm saying he made all this stuff so this is to make it more like a dirt bike it also has titanium a arms on it or titanium nerf bars they weigh, I mean, absolutely nothing. These things are super legit. And it has a CNC pedal um, that he had uh, somebody CNC make this foot peg and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. It's kind of a wide peg. You know, I'm really interested in these uh, European type stuff. So uh, the first thing is this is a rocket spindle, okay? Or a rocket hub. Uh, this is DJ from Rocket Machine. All right, then they have this. When you order Behringer's, um, it doesn't come anodized, but I send this stuff to Rocket. They anodize it for me. And then, uh, you know, this is the plate. Now, the reason I don't know, I probably could get away with just mounting this like this um, because DJ has his rays, but um, I've been putting, you know, uh, these on there, okay? Now, shit here. All right, so 
This is what we got, titanium bolts. All right, now you wanna put Loctite on these, okay? Blue Loctite. I mean, get real crazy with this because these Behringers are not like stock brakes. Um, some people, some of, some people say that they don't work. Other people that ride say that they do. I'm here to tell you that they work. So you want to put that in there. I think that they work really good. They have a tendency. They have a tendency to really, really put a lot of brake pressure on there. Man, just a little bit of pull, and these things are wazoo. They are, they are down in there. So it, it really puts a lot of stress on these three bolts, to be honest with you. I mean, I can tell you that right now. I mean, it's these things will back out loose. you got to check these every ride because if not... You know, just check them every ride till you know that they don't move. So that's on there. You can see that it spaces this out. Now, what that spaces this out to do is so that the the Behringer, the master cylinder will clear here. Without that distance, we can't get this to clear. This would rub, okay, if we don't put this on there. So that's why I do that. Um, this has anodized blue Behringer brace, which I think look pretty fucking cool. So, you know, whatever. Okay, YouTube, we're over here at the spindles. Okay, now what Behringer gives you, this is just for the Suzuki uh, ones, okay? So what this is, is these are these little inserts, okay? And these inserts measure, shit, it's like a weird... It's a weird size, like, you know, like they don't make very many drill bits like this. So it's 9.85 millimeters, okay? If you could see, that's what this whole size is, is to here. And we want these to be pretty good. So what I have is I have a uh, 9.8 millimeter drill, which is like 300 and something. I think it's like three, what is this? Just the, yeah, 376, give or take. So what you want to do is drill this out. Hold on. All right, just like that. Come down here, get this one. Okay. All right, now what you need to get is green fucking retaining Loctite, okay? Now, whatever you put, make sure you don't get none of this bullshit on the threads or you're gonna be in a world of fuck, okay? And I mean, when I mean a world of fuck, I'm talking a world of fuck. You'll have to wire EDM the fucking shit out. You, this retaining compound is a retaining compound, okay? Like for this Loctite. So you wanna put it in there just like this to where um, the whatever is on the, the smooth side is on the back. What I like to do is give her a little, Love tap. Jesus Lord. Always one gotta be a bitch. There we go, just had a little burr on it. See how tight that is? Now you know that this will never back off there okay so now that we got that on there we can we can kind of wait what we want to do next is bolt up our hub okay again i love these rawhide hammers 
okay? See, now look at this. This side, we're fucking tight again. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull that off. See, we got that on there. Something's messed up with these spindles. See, something's messed up with these spindles because I can't. The other side went fucking perfect. So let me see what we got going on here. There we go. There we go. So what the problem is, is that the uh, whatever moved. But you can see how freely those, those spin. All right, now what we need to do, go over here, get a, this is a 22 millimeter titanium nut. Um, I don't use castle nuts. I actually like like non, I actually prefer, uh, I like nylocks, or you know, nylon lock stuff. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Keep it a little tight. Look at that. So, there is our rocket hub on. All righty, now. Okay, YouTube, what we're doing here is uh, we're putting in um, these brakes. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta space them over. So when you get the Behringer brake system, you're gonna get a baggie that looks like this with a bunch of fucking washers in it. All righty, and then what you gotta do is, you know, come up with some washer spacing um, that moves the caliper over to the inside so you clear your your uh you clear the, the the spinning part of the spindle if you will okay now what you want to do is have it like that okay and what i like to do is get them started because this is kind of a pain in the ass you know it's going to take a lot of shit and you want to loctite this stuff in all right so what i like to do is just get it going so it's locked you know it's ready to go and then get it tight in there and then make sure your shit spins really nice. Now, another thing with Behringer's, for some reason, this is both the same size. Now, these guys will send it to you with this reversed for some reason. I don't understand why they do that, but you always want the line at the bottom, the bleeder at the top. I mean, it's kind of enough fucking said. All righty, like I said, you know, <clears throat> Again, blue Loctite is your friend. I have had really, really good luck with these. I know that, alrighty, so what we gotta do, like I said, is you wanna Loctite these in. You definitely wanna make sure you put some type of locking material on this. Uh, I've learned because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, these brakes really, really do a pretty good job of stopping you. I think that they work excellent. Um, other people think that they don't, but I think that they work pretty good. So that's just me, uh, you know, throwing that out there. But, uh, you know, you just gotta make sure you put, you know, you know, <clears throat> probably don't need that much, but you know, whatever. Just put it on there. Screw this down. All right, because what we're trying to do is space this out. See how this still kind of spins really good? Now these Behringer's are floating rotors. Okay, so you can change the rotors, um, whatever, or change the whole thing. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. You know, god damn. So that's that. So, I mean, this is about as far as we can go on it today because we don't have whatever. But the next time, I'll show you guys how to bleed these things to get them really, really good. Um, 
you know, like I like to make sure that we got it really good. Jesus Christ. As you can tell, the phone rings all fucking goddamn day. <clears throat> Alrighty there, YouTube. Uh, we're back. Uh, we made a little bit more progress. Sorry, I haven't been filming. I've been kind of busy. Plus, goddamn employees been in and out of here. So, you know how that goes. But anyway, um, we got our Behringer brakes on. Um, I put a different master cylinder on it um, because it had a 14 and plus... The lever was all scratched up. I did not like that. Um, alrighty, I had to uh, call Precision and get a modified steering clamp or to run their steering stabilizer, which I recommend you, you got to have one of these. So what I had to do is get one for a Suzuki, and I had to modify it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you could see up in here, I had to cut it out a little bit, and also um, we kind of milled this down a little bit to get it something better so we got that um our a-arms are on we're waiting for whatever to come back but you can see we got brakes i mean these things are the shit um i put a new bimbo or brimbo master cylinder on it um just because um and i like arc levers so i got a skinny metal lever i don't know i like the feel of them um got all that out um, we did put a full recluse clutch in it, so it's the automatic clutch, okay, and um, what I did over here, okay, on this full automatic clutch, so the EP plate, that's the plate that grows, if you want that to be more aggressive for like motocross, so when you come into the corner, you can, you know, rev it up a little bit before it goes out, it's kind of like, you know, just brrp, brrp, brrp. It'll kind of go like that um so i have it set up uh to hit a little bit harder uh so i put all the stiffer springs in it um that seems to be all right um i did get my aka povich exhaust i have no clue what this is for but uh it's for a you know so we got that in there um you can see i'm going to put a tusk radiator fan i bought a universal tusk radiator fan just trying to keep this thing as cool as humanly possible, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so I gotta figure out, I'm gonna pop this stuff off, pop this stuff off, pull this off, stick that through there, do that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got my spindles, all that stuff. Um, got the rear end all done. Um, I did find this Lone Star stuff, not on back order. So I got that. Um, I probably need to get a P or PRP one, uh, maybe later. I'm gonna try out this uh, Behringer rear brake master cylinder setup uh, here. Um, one thing I do need to do is I need to get a longer tip. So I'm gonna take this apart, you know, after we get it running uh, in a couple days. I'm waiting on a rear brake line because um, I wanted to get one that's, you know, See how this is like, it's turned the wrong way. It's fucking stupid. So I want to get a rear brake line. Um, and then we'll put the seat on it and then, uh, you know, maybe see if we can go out and uh, ride it. But this is Operation Red Bud. This is what we got done. Um, this thing is pretty awesome. You can see this is all the electronics. I put a different battery in it. I mean, this thing turns over. We got our map switch. So what you do is you hit map and then it'll tell you one or two, hit traction control, you know what I'm saying? I'm interesting to see if that works. Um, our titanium steering stem is in. Um, that's all pretty sweet, you know. We got everything so we can turn the bars. Um, we're waiting on some new ball joints. Our tie rod ends, just because I did not like how these were, you know, how they're all like chewed up. Um, I got some new ones, so uh, we'll go from there. Got that. Um, we are running our blood racing lubricants. I like this VP Stay Frosty over uh, the water wetter. It seems to be cooler, run cooler, just a little bit. But see, I got my water hoses in there. Um, we got all that stuff. If anybody could tell me what this FI light is for, on the goddamn KTMs, I would love to know. So right now, all I gotta do is uh, fix the throttle body. That's over here. 
I got to fix this throttle body. I got a new throttle cable because I didn't like it. And the uh, choke was broken, so I got a new one of those. So that's coming in the mail today. Uh, then we're waiting for our shocks to get back from Impact Solutions. And we bought a bunch of uh, covers from... Shit. What is that? Uh, Nihilo Concepts. So I got an ignition cover I bought. I bought a clutch cover. So we'll take this recluse off. I have a boys and water pump, but that's on back order coming. Uh, we got some other stuff um, just to try to jazz this thing up. But I'm hoping, you know, it works pretty good. I'm going to start there with the oil about halfway. See how that goes. I'm going to run it. Uh, see what happens. I need to get it running to know if the oil pump works. It seems like it does. But uh, this should be pretty awesome to ride. I tell you, the front is wide as shit. So uh, we need to get on there. I'm used to the quad tech seat, so that's not a problem. Um, I just want, I'm interested to see how this, uh, how this KTM dirt bike engine runs, but we'll see. I'll come back uh, and check into you guys a little bit later. I am going to put this Tuss fan on there and see if I can get that to work. Um, and, uh, that's really it. I mean, that's really all I got going on, uh, for right now. Are you there, YouTube? Uh, this is kind of finishing up the, uh, the Gas Gas Squad, or Operation Red Bud. So just to let you guys know uh, that me and Zach took this to Chili Town. Um, you will see a vlog about that. Uh, we got this thing great. Um, what you will notice is I got some OMF wheels on here. I bought these from a guy over in England. I think his name was like David Neutral. Um, bought them over in New England or in uh, England. So, you know, I'm buying shit all over the place. Um, we got our shocks back from uh, Impact Solutions. And, you know, we're just trying to figure out, uh, you know, what we got going on. But we need to adjust the shocks. I need to talk to him to see her out. They, they kind of bought them out real quick. But um, what we did do is the recluse clutch works awesome. Um, the Behringer brakes works awesome. I did call Rocket Machine DJ to make me a longer one of these because I can't get my brake in there or my foot in there. And I need to come up with another shifter. Um, that's on the agenda right there. Now I've got the chain on it, everything. Rode this quad. It's really, really, really powerful. There is nothing like uh, a KTM engine, man. I see why a lot of people... Um, like these style engines, um, they, they work really, really well. They're really aggressive. They pull amazing. Uh, we need to get it dyno tuned and all that stuff. Uh, but like I said, the suspension is really soft. So we got to fix that. And uh, that's what I told uh, the guy Casey over at Impact Solutions is, hey, make it really soft. And he did that. I think we need to adjust the spring rates a little bit to get the front end down um, a little bit better, but that's just my my opinion, but uh, we'll see. But other than that, um, this thing rode awesome. I love it. Um, I can't wait to uh, ride it again. That's the biggest thing about this thing is, is that I need to just get some seat time on it. And then, like, you know, you got Zach's 250R over here. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but um, that was the weekend, you know, whatever. Uh, I got to get uh, my set of graphics made for it and stuff like that, so uh, we're good. But uh, we'll get this thing out later this week and get her all polished back up and all that shit. And then we should be, you know, good to go. But just wanted to show it to you guys finished. Uh, we are going to put a different front bumper on it. Um, I like the uh, Factory 43 bumpers. But other than that, um, we got everything on there. It stayed together. Let's see how much, you know, like we had coolant. See how much coolant we lost. Ooh. 
we lost a lot of coolant. So we need to fill that back up or we finally ran it long enough to get the air bubbles out of it. But I have a feeling we got, this radiator's kind of weak. I need to find another radiator for it because I have a feeling we must be leaking somewhere when we run under pressure. So I have to top the radiator off. Well guys, that's uh, Operation Red Bud. Um, we do have the, whatever you want to call that. Uh, we've went out, we've made some test motos on it. Um, we're going to go uh, to this place near my house and make some more test motos on it probably next week. Um, I'm pretty busy. Uh, this week I got a lot of stuff to do, plus I got to tighten up some stuff on the YZ. Uh, we need to get the oil changed in this and get it all cleaned up and ready to go. And then uh, fix that radiator hose and uh, all that stuff. So, got a lot to do. But, uh, like always, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this little uh, gas gas build series. Uh, it's really not a gas gas. I don't know how to call, what to call this thing. This hybrid thing from Austria. Um, it definitely is awesome. It's one of the best handling quads I've ridden. It turns excellent. Um, you can slide it through the corners and all that stuff. So it's just that it needs a little bit of stuff. Uh, probably need to put some different handlebars on it, some lower bars and all that stuff, but we should be good. But like always guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, I got to fucking go.